Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a tree the super quick and easy way in Adobe Photoshop. So you will need a CC version of Photoshop or later to have this option. But to start with I've got my new artboard and you can go up to filter, down to render and select tree. And you will then be presented with this dialog box and you've got a whole host of different options here and you can start by selecting the base tree type so you can see that I've got oak tree selected so you may select pine tree sakura cherry blossom oh that's nice uh, palm tree foliage plant so loads of different types of trees and plants to start with so let's start with an oak tree so you can adjust the light direction so you can have it coming from the left or the right by adjusting that slider you can control how many leaves are on your tree so you can have lots and lots of leaves or you can have none altogether sad winter tree with no leaves Aww. you can have uh, you can adjust the leaf size so you can make them really big or you can make them really small you can adjust the branches height so how high is your tree and how high up are the branches you can adjust the thickness of these branches and you can even specify different types of leaves for different trees or plants so the level of customization of your trees is pretty impressive actually and you can randomize the shapes as well or just drag the slider along the arrangement and using the same options that you selected above you just get a couple of different or I say a couple you get lots of different variations based on that same tree type and those settings so that's really that's really good to scroll through and see if you find something that's better than what you've already created it just gives you some alternatives that are similar you can also go to advanced and you can use a custom color for the leaves so we could turn our leaves red if we wanted that's pretty cool and you can do the same for the branches as well and then you've got a few other options down here that allow you to create flat shading but you can turn these on and off and you can see what effect they have on your tree in the preview window so really cool lots of different options so let's just reset those settings now I'm just going to show you the foliage plant because this is another really good example of how you can see the settings change so again we've got light direction that's fine leaves amount or no leaves at all leave size so we can bring this down a little bit bring the leaves amount up change the branch height make the branch a bit thicker or thinner and then change the leaves as well so this is a piece of foliage plant this is quite different to a tree so you can see how changing the different options on a plant as well as a tree really can have quite a significant impact and then you can adjust this slider and create as we did before lots of similar variations so let's reset that again and go back to the good old oak tree so we've got our oak tree it's awesome we're happy click OK and it will place your tree onto the artboard in fact let's undo that because what you can do is create a new layer first then go to filter render tree click OK and then it will place that tree onto a separate layer and we can even call it tree just in case we forget and there we go that's the super quick and easy way to create trees in Adobe Photoshop CC as always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.